Hello, my name is Robert Baker Nicholas, and this is History 705 Local History Research. Local History of Wake Forest, North Carolina. What is local history and ways to preserve it? Local history is a study of historical events that occur in a small geographic region within a town, city, or county. There are several ways in which you can preserve local history. This includes forming a volunteer group, offering tours, hosting special events, submitting a nomination to an endangered place list or a national list, conducting community workshops, educating people who make decisions, taking studies and surveys from the public, evaluating the property, and pursuing national registry listing or local historic designations. When looking how to save local history in my local town of Wake Forest, I noticed that there has been a debate on preserving local history or encouraging growth. When looking at this debate, there was a strategic plan put in place with preserving local history and encouraging growth. Within that strategic plan, there are four categories to encourage growth and four categories to preserve local history. Within the strategic plan, those four categories to encourage growth include sustaining excellent town service, creating accessible housing opportunities, creating safe, diverse, welcoming, a welcoming community, and investing in transportation and infrastructure. Let's look at the first of the strategic plan initiatives, sustaining excellent town services. When the town aims to provide excellent services, they are recruiting diverse and excellent talent employees. By doing this, they will increase diversity within the local community. Looking at the second of the strategic plan, initiatives, creating accessible housing opportunities. This part of the plan is going to place housing projects for diverse needs and housing income, which will diversify the local population. When looking at the third initiative, creating safe, diverse, and welcoming community, the town is going to hire more fire, rescue, and police, and create more green spaces which will encourage many more diverse people and families to the area. When investing in transportation and infrastructure in our local community, the town will also increase sewer, water, and waste, and also in increase road access, rail access, and multimodal transportation. Wake Forest was founded near, near railroads and railroads have played a vital part in Wake Forest's history. When looking on how to preserve the local history in the town of Wake Forest, the four initiatives have been historical tours, historical districts, historical designation sites, and historical commission. Dealing with the historical tours, the town offers historical tours that are themed around certain holidays and topics in order to inform the public of Wake Forest's history. These holidays can include Christmas and Halloween. These are very popular and sell out very quickly ahead of time. Dealing with the historical district, the town of Wake Forest has set up several historical districts which include downtown and the northeast region of the town. They are recognized by various historical organizations for the areas in order for them to be preserved. When dealing with historical sites designations, several historical sites have been placed on the historical sites um, registry, National Historical Site Registry, and the Town Commission is looking to add more of these sites um, by encouraging citizens and businesses to apply for designation of these in the local community. When dealing with the Historical Commission, the town founded a commission in the 1970s 
in order for them to actively discuss and examine ways in which that they can increase historical preservation in our local community. The results of the study was um, in the local community was that the Town of Wake Forest would take a balanced approach when it came to pre preserving local history. This is a pretty unique approach in which the town is encouraging both growth and looking towards the past in order for the town to maintain its, its old um, charm while also looking towards the future. The mission of the Historical Preservation Commission that was set up by the um, town's city com town commission is that the mission of the commission is to safeguard the heritage of Wake Forest by preserving districts and landmarks that embody important elements of the town's culture, history, architectural history, or prehistory. Town Forest or Wake Forest has a very rich history, as you can tell. The town of Wake Forest, when you hear the name, most people immediately ask me, is that where Wake Forest University is? And I have to say, no. Originally, it was. Originally in the 1830s, Wake Forest University was founded roughly. However, it was owned here or it was founded here. It did change its name and it moved. In 1805, this part of Wake County was this, um, designated as the Forest District. It was this main, it was named this mainly because of the beautiful area in which it was founded north of the Noose River. Development began in the 1820s when Dr. Calvin Jones from New England bought 615 acres in the Wake Forest Township from Davis Battle. Dr. Jones built a two-story house in the center of the um, center of what became Wake Forest College. When he was appointed postmaster in the area in 1823, he started using the name Wake Forest. You may be wondering what Wake Forest College is. That will be a college that is founded um, by the North Carolina Baptist Convention. This will be founded in 1832 and will eventually become Wake Forest University. This will be established in order to train um, ministers. When looking at historical sites in Wake Forest, it is important to note that there are several of them. The first one we're going to look at is Calvin Jones's house. This is the house that Dr. Calvin Jones lived in when he purchased the land where he started the township of Wake Forest. Today, the Wake Forest Historical Society runs it as our town's museum, and it is on the National Registries of Historic Sites. Another interesting place in the town of Wake Forest is the Royal Cotton Mill in the Glen Royal Mill Village Historical District. These are both on the National Registry of Historical Places. The Royal Cotton Mill has been renovated into lots of apartments in the 1990s. And it was an active mill actually until the um, 19, late 1900s. So it's very um, a very important place in Wake Forest history. And when you think of a mill town, this is actually like a mill town. They um, actually had rights to vote within this area and they actually um, were eventually acquired by the town of Wake Forest. So they, uh, when the town grew, the town actually acquired this part and it has become part of our history. Another important um, site in the town is the Old Town Well. The Old Town Well is a beloved town landmark that likely dates to the early days of um, Calvin, the Calvin Jones house it is located on the same land as a house and is said to be in its original location where the original Wake Forest College campus stood. The Old Town Well may have served as the property's first water source and the Old Town Well was dedicated in 2001. 
Another site is where Wake Forest University was. The college and the town um, did well until the end of World War II when it was announced that the College of Wake Forest would be moving to Winston-Salem in 1956 by um, J.R. Tobacco. Um, they did this because that there were many colleges in the area like Duke, UNC, Meredith College, and many others. Um, so the Baptist, the Southern Baptist Convention decided that they would locate this new seminary in Wake Forest, and that is what is currently there today. In 1956, they located there. The W.E.B. Du Bois School um, is another historical site located in Wake Forest. This is a old schoolhouse that was used to educate African-American students during this um, segregation times. After the integration occurred um, in schools, the building um, has been used for many uses and the local African-American community and the Alumni Association have rallied behind to preserve this historical building by getting it placed on many historical preservation lists. And the African-American community um, in that area wants to turn this building into a community center and a museum in order to preserve the local history. And the alumni wants to um, increase the awareness of this as well. Another historical district in the town of Wake Forest is the historic downtown Wake Forest district. Downtown Wake Forest um, historical district was or is on the National Historic Register for Historical Places and it was placed on that list in 2002. The downtown um, of, of the historical district saw most of the, its activity development in the 1890s to, the to 1949. And downtown um, has many brick streets, historical buildings, office spaces, apartments, above businesses, and it has actually been revitalized a lot. And the um, local community has poured a lot of money in this area and it is beautiful. There are a lot of events in this area, very family friendly, and it has been revitalized while still keeping the family charm and the small town feel. And finally, these are my uh, bibliographies uh, sites. All these pictures have been taken by me um, of my local town. And so in summary, the, uh, the idea of local um, preservation of local history and growth can exist together. It's important to know that local history is important to preserve as it plays a key part in telling a story. Telling a story of what is going on in a region, in a county, in a city, in a town, and eventually it tells a story of a people. It is important that stories are told, whether through historical sites, through primary sources, secondary sources, or word of mouth. It's important that we preserve our local history through one way or another. We need to make sure that we preserve our local history, whether it's through archives, through historical sites, historical organizations, like historical societies, or by preserving historical legacies. I appreciate you joining me through this journey of looking at local history in Wake Forest and historical preservation. I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you.